Hi, and thanks for joining us for Devotionables, brief devotions for busy people. My name is Gabriel. We are continuing a series through Proverbs. It's been great to look at so far. We considered that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the, the author here, Solomon, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, commends us, encourages us, exhorts us to pursue it like a treasure. We need wisdom, and wisdom comes from God. The good news is, I was having this conversation with my girls only a couple days ago, and my daughter so sweetly said, Lord, sorry, Daddy, we should ask the Lord for wisdom. I was so proud, so happy, and I said, you're right, Charlotte, we should. The good news is, if we ask God, if we need wisdom, we come to God. He says that He generously gives to all who ask Him of wisdom. You know, Solomon, when he became king, that's the one thing he asked of the Lord. He could have asked for treasures, uh, kingdom, wealth, right? He asked that he might have wisdom to govern justly. And so you and I, as we were seeking to walk with the Lord, to live for God in a confused age, uh, uh, we want to know what it is like to live under the fear of the Lord, to live with wisdom. And Solomon gives us many things. He addresses money, how to live wisely with money, to honor the Lord with our finances. He addresses sexual purity. He addresses the tongue. You know, one of the ways that we most express wisdom and need wisdom is in the area of our tongue. James, which a lot of people say is the Proverbs of the New Testament, tells us that who can tame the tongue? With it we bless the Lord, our Savior, and we curse our brother. Who can tame it? It sets such a wild fire ablaze. There's words here found in Proverbs chapter 12. I want us to encourage us to live with wisdom in regards to our tongue. Proverbs 12 verse 18. There is one whose rash words are like sword thrust, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Have you ever been insulted? Have you ever been offended? Maybe even with your children, they disobey you. They're trying your patience and you come up with that quick quip. And it's just a word of the tongue. And you can tell that you hurt somebody. You responded out of anger. And so you know, sometimes we think that, well, that person made me angry. When the reality is we were already angry, that person just revealed the anger that was inside of us. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so for whatever reason, and we've talked about this before, but we get angry when there's something we want that we we can't have, we're not getting, we're being denied this desire, or there's a treasure that we have that's being threatened. So we respond with anger, and we do so mostly with our tongue. And yet we kind of, we let it go because when we think about angry people, we think, well, I didn't hit somebody, I didn't strike them with a hammer, I didn't run over them with my car, but just a little quip of the tongue lashing out of the tongue. I'm sure many of us can recall words that have hurt us even years later. You know, it's like that toothpaste. Once it comes out, there's no gathering it back in. But the the way of wisdom, to live in the fear of the Lord, is to, to work on my heart, to not to respond with the tongue in anger, to not to not rash let my words out rashly like sword thrust but to respond with wisdom that brings healing to an individual, even when, my, when I'm not getting what I want, or if I have something that's being threatened. But just to take a moment, maybe even internally, Lord, give me wisdom, how do I respond? And there's a difference between responding and reacting. The reaction is like that th- sore thrusting word of a quick tongue, and it doesn't have to be even loud, but it just hurts. It penetrates the person's heart, it destroys them. And yet the wise... You can still speak truth. There's times you've got to use the tongue to speak truth, but you do so with grace and with wisdom. And so Solomon is telling us the way of wisdom is to respond with your tongue wisely, with a good word that brings healing. So if it's something you struggle with, maybe you'll get some consideration, ask the Lord to help your heart, right? Because it just reveals what's already in there. Let me respond with wisdom and graciousness to build others up. Blessings on you today.